Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we're taking you on a tour of this 3,600 square foot home that sits on five acres. Before we dive into this video, if this is your first time on our channel, here we talk about all things Southern Utah, like working, living, and playing in St. George. So if you're thinking about relocating into this area, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it so you don't miss any of our new videos. My name is Nick Rostopchin and I'm a real estate agent right here in Washington County. And we have so many people just like you that are watching our content and reaching out to us because they're thinking about moving to this area. So feel free to call me, text me, or email me anytime if you have any questions about what it's like to live right here in Southern Utah. Without further ado, let's dive into a tour of this incredible home. As I mentioned earlier, this property is located in Leeds, which is a little community just a little bit north of Hurricane, Utah. Probably about a 30 minute drive to downtown St. George, 15 minute drive to downtown Hurricane. This property has three bedrooms, three bathrooms, sits on five acres and it is 3,600 square feet. This home was originally custom built by the first owners now our clients decided to turn it into a rental. And you can rent this property for just $3,600 a month, not including utilities. And my, before we even go in, my personal favorite thing about this property is all of these incredible views. Literally 360 degrees around you. Most of the homes in this neighborhood sit on large parcels, anywhere from five to 20 acres. We're surrounded by the Dixie National Forest and some of the mountains to the north, really in, in every direction you have some sort of hills or mountains to look at. This property has a four car garage also, which you just saw in this courtyard that takes you into the main living area. So we'll start our tour from here. Right through the main door, uh, you enter this main living area that has views to the southeast and that entire five acres is what separates you from your nearest neighbor. Uh, the owners are putting in the guardrail around this patio. Uh, I'm sure this will come up as one of the questions later in this video, what happened to the guardrail is getting installed within next week. But we wanted to get this information out to you guys as soon as we could. So this living room is quite spacious. It has kind of opens to this entire property. These are the front doors, uh, double French doors that we walked in through from the courtyard. And I would like to first take you guys into the kitchen so you could access the kitchen through this living room or through that hallway. The kitchen is all original for the era of this home when it was originally built, but everything has been gone through and everything is in great working order. Right through this kitchen, you got this, this kitchen bay window. You get some awesome views on this massive outdoor patio. And you have an induction top in the middle with decent amount of counter space, lots of cabinets. And some of these cabinets can be used for pantry. This home does not have a formal pantry. And then your dining room is kind of a bump out from this kitchen that has some awesome windows that allow lots of natural light and these views. Right off the kitchen, you have, this could be used as a formal study office, it has two sliding doors that open to the outside, a fireplace and some beautiful wood detail across the ceiling and some built-ins. And as we go down this hallway, our first left takes us to a full bath as well as the laundry room. So this house has three bedrooms and three full bathrooms. This laundry room is quite spacious and it has plenty of counter space for folding, some built-ins, and then the washer and the dryer are just right here. And that door takes us into a four car garage <laughs> and the garage has some of the owner's belongings in it right now, but they will be gone prior to leasing. Lots of space. Folks, what's unique about this property is that 
I'm sure if you've uh, been thinking about this or researching the market and you want to move to St. George, it seems like most of our rentals are kind of entry level homes where if you're used to something a little nicer with a little bit more space around you, you really don't see this type of real estate in a uh, rental category. So this is kind of a unique opportunity if you're thinking about maybe buying some time from now or building a new house right now and need some time and just want a really nice place to stay, this could be a great way to go. So this end of the house has a master suite and another, I guess, back office. That's the front office. So let's actually go through the living room. It would make a little bit more sense. So this takes us into den, study, media room, office, whatever you want to call it. It has its own fireplace finished in a Southwestern style. It's a gas insert. You have some beautiful views a four or no, five channel surround sound system that's wired into this wall and there's a door that takes you into uh, a primary suite from there and if that fireplace wasn't enough you have another fireplace in this bedroom as well um, you have a slider that takes you outside some built-ins more wood detail wood beam detail actually it looks like almost like a log cabin feel across the ceiling. You have dual French doors that take you from the main hallway if you didn't enter through the den. And then this takes us into the bathroom. The primary bath still features all the original countertops and style. There is a light tunnel right up above, solar tube. It's super nice, it's super nice to have some natural light that just lights this room up. And then you have Dual vanity, a soaking tub accompanied with gold hardware, as well as a really nice shower. These closets are quite spacious. So you have two closets in here, one on that side, and one on this side. This one is a little bit smaller, but it has some nice built ins and the other closet is quite spacious. Let's, let's take a step outside. I just want to show you guys this patio before we see the rest of the bedrooms. Please be careful, railing is coming. So this patio will have railing that wraps all the way around it. And it just feels really peaceful out of here. This, this patio is also getting currently refinished, so by the time somebody moves in here, all of it will be resealed and I'll have the railing up. But it is quite spacious in size. You could put all sorts of patio furniture, have another spot to hang out. There are planters back here that have some desert plants. And this takes you all the way to the side of the property, the garage side of the property. And just outside of the dining room, you have a little space for barbecue grill. There's also a stub out right here, so you could hook up a barbecue grill, grill to natural gas and place it out here somewhere closer to the kitchen. Let's go take a look at the rest of the bedrooms in this home. If you're Folks, if you're interested in renting this space, I will, I will attach the link for a rental app application in the description below this video. If you're thinking about moving to Southern Utah, have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me anytime. All of my contact information is always in the description below this video. Text me, email me. So down this hallway, we have another little built-in and a closet really spacious closet yeah there's a ton of storage in this house more built-ins with more counter space another little linen closet probably the only little closet in this house another solar tube right up above me sorry Oksana is joining us on this tour so you might hear her in the background and this is the first guest suite that has a cool little built-in by the window this window opens into the courtyard and you also have 
a really spacious closet in that room. As we go down this hallway, that's our third full bath. And then this, this bedroom is a little bit more spacious actually. Feels like it's almost as large as uh, the master suite. It also has a nice large closet. Um, what else did I forget to talk about? Folks, we absolutely love what this property has to offer. A four car garage, five acres, incredible 360 degree views. We're curious to know, what do you think about this property? Would you live here? Would you rent it? Are you interested in renting it? Drop us a comment below this video. We absolutely love all of the love and support. And if you stick around, YouTube will suggest a couple more videos right here that you should definitely check out.